Well, well, here we are. <laughs> it's, it's a fun one. I don't want to have people catch me talking to myself, but we back. <laughs> we back. <laughs> a new adventure. This time we're in a new country. <laughs> we're in Italy. I'm on a, uh, don't know what this is. Some kind of scooter. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, let's have fun. On a little Italian excursion. <laughs> Ooh, nice bike. Um, we're on the island of Elba, Elba Island. It's off the coast. Uh, let's see, the west coast of Italy, like midway up the continent, right off the west coast. Album call, or album, uh, Crossa? Nope. Island called Elba. So <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together here, but this is special here. <laughs> like, look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I'm on a little Italian excursion. I'm taking three weeks away from everyday American bullshit. And we're coming to Italy, me and my bro. We out here just enjoying it. He comes out here a lot, so he's showing me around. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just got some scooters. I know it ain't necessarily a bike, but shit, it is still two wheels, goddammit. You know what I mean? It's still two wheels. Whoa, <laughs> don't lean too much on these little things. <laughs> Um, so yeah, back on two wheels, back in another country, and I'm having the time of my life out here. I don't know how to explain it, but like, nothing is the same out here like it is in America. Nothing is the same. The cars are different, the people are different, the food is different, the air is damn near different. I mean, like, people aren't even on their phones out here. Like, you, everywhere in America, should have pulled over. Everywhere in America, people are always on their phones. I've seen like two people on their phones and they're both kids. That's it. You, you, when you walk around the streets in America, everyone seems so defeated, for lack of a better word. You know, they just got their heads down, they got no emotion. I'm, I'm pulling over. Damn, the front brakes are good, buddy. Everyone seems so defeated, but out here, everyone is so happy all the time. Everyone is smiling and enjoying it. I got to learn how to put this kickstand thing down. I didn't want to. I didn't want to learn this before. Yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, everyone out here is just so happy all the time. Everyone's smiling, having a good time, drinking their wine. I think this is where the Italians go on vacation. And August, August is like their month of vacation. So everyone's out here having a good time, smiling and drinking and partying. This old town, which I'll probably go back to soon. This is uh, Rio Marina. That's the marina right there. Um, this old town comes alive at night. I've never been to a place where it's busier at night than it is during the day. Like, yeah, people are out during the day, but as soon as it's nighttime, this place just opens up. It's amazing. But, yeah, I wanted to stop. Show you all the view real quick. Whew, I can't, I can't get enough of this. Obviously the camera will never do it justice. All right, let's get back on the road. Scooters are so weird to drive. I've never driven one before. I'm like trying to cut the shift. Uh, but what was I saying? Nothing's the same, pretty much. Everything's different. The people, the food, the drinks, the gelato. Oh, the gelato. It's so good. People are happy out here. People don't seem happy in America. They really feel, like I said, defeated. So it's real nice to be somewhere where everything is different. Obviously the language is different. It's so fun when you're trying to, uh... oh shit, it's windy. It's so fun when you're trying to communicate <laughs> and you're like, like the phrases that I've gotten so far is, can I get, is yo uh, vre, can I get una, questo is this. <laughs> so, yo vre, 
una, due, questa, <laughs> and they're like, oh, see, 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 or uh, the other one I got, once we get that, it's for, like, it's fun being an American that's not the typical American. Most Americans, they come out here and they just like expect you to know the language and they're like, yeah, let me get two of these, please. And uh, let me get a side of this uh, along with these and these. And the Italians don't know what the hell you're talking about. They might get a few words, but when you go in there actively trying to speak their language, I swear you see them just, their eyes just lighten up. They're like so happy and it's like a game. Every time you go into a store talking to someone, it's like a game and you're like, it's like charades. Can I get this? Can I, can I, yeah, see, see, no, no, uh, this, this way. <laughs> it's so funny. Then I, once you break the ice with a little bit of Italian that, that you know, then you are, I always say, mi italiano è molto male. <laughs> My Italian's very bad. And then that always lightens up the mood even more. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just happy out here. I needed a vacation. Oh, nice bike, Suzuki. So, uh, it's, yeah, I'm just having fun everywhere I go. Even like butchering the language, trying to, trying to communicate. It was a lot of fun. Ah, uh, but I digress. This is where I'm at. Sorry bus, give you some room. Oh my goodness, look at these views. It's like this everywhere. I've, I will never get tired of this. It's, it's literally like this everywhere. It's beautiful. Um, I also want to apologize where uh, I'm, I've, I've never missed a video upload. Ever, ever, ever. I've done two a week ever since, well I've done, I used to start with just Friday. And then after that, I figured I'll do two a week and I've not missed a single day. I've worked very, very hard to do that, but I missed two days. I missed Tuesday and I'm going to miss Friday, which is tomorrow right now. Today's Thursday, but it's only because the place that we're at has, has no Wi-Fi, no, no Wi-Fi, as they say here. So I can't upload anything. And I was, uh, I was told there would be Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, sorry, excuse me. I was told there would be Wi-Fi, so I didn't like set up my videos to automatically um, schedule them to like drop on time. I thought I could just upload them here, so I, I, I messed up. I'm gonna have to miss a week, and I'm very sorry about that. So uh, after this, we're gonna go to Rome, to Roma. In Rome, I should have Wi-Fi. Then I'll upload all the videos that I've edited and are ready to go, and I'll be back on a nice schedule, I hope. But I do want to apologize for my week absence. You can obviously see where I've been. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just cruising. I don't even know where I'm going. There's another little town up here called Cabo. This is a really tiny little island. It's a decent sized island, but it, in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty tiny. So we picked up these little scooters in Puerto Azuro. It's a little bit south of where I just left from. And now we're going up north to a little town called Cabo. And I'm just kind of driving, talking to the camera as you will. Oh, enjoying it. Got to fix these mirrors. I just realized I can't see a ting. Not a ting, brother. <laughs> Someone's going to know what that's from. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just enjoying it. Got a little Italian bar down the way. I'm sure I'll soon get to a town and then it'll open back up. It'll be fun to see again. There's a lot of little scooters and bikes all around. People here are so nice and friendly and happy for the most part. There's been one, one Italian lady that wasn't happy. <laughs> and my brother. <laughs> it was very funny. But other than that, everyone's really friendly. It's nice just hang around also these italians can drive now i see why they make lamborghini and ferrari and ducati and <laughs> prilia and mv Augusta, all these crazy italian machines because they whip out here we were just driving from like uh, we flew into milan and then we spent the night in genoa which is like a two-hour drive but there was this mountainous section and man, them Italians were flying. This dude was in a little ass smart car. I wish I recorded it. Tiny little smart car. Thing was tipping. Like, they're going on two wheels. He was turning that thing so much. And he was, he was in control. It didn't look like, oh my God, this dude's going to crash and die. No, not at all. He was in control. So these Italians whip. It's fun. I'm surprised I haven't had anybody gaining on me down through here, <laughs> to be honest. But I am kind of whipping. 
Oh man, but it's just so amazing. We just picked up these scooters and y'all know me, I live for this. This two wheel driving. So I, oh, so I had to go. Is this Cabo? We're already at Cabo, yeah, it's a tiny little island. So y'all know me, I had to go get some two wheels. So we just picked these up, went for a little drive. And uh, my, bro, my bro's tired as hell. This eight hour difference is killing him. He's pretty much stayed up all night, it feels like. <laughs> Little as you know, my sleep schedule is So he's tired, he's sleeping. And I'm just driving, taking in the sights, really. Enjoying this two wheel stuff. Look at that little Jeep. Yeah, it's just amazing out here. I can't stop getting strawberry gelato. Fragola. Fragola strawberry. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, it's my weakness. Oh, Lord. And I don't know what else to say, really. It's funny, like, me and my, bro my brother have crazy hair. He's got full on dreads. Mine are kind of braids that are long ish. <laughs> and uh, people be staring out here. It's pretty funny. Like everybody stares at you everywhere you go. I'm kind of kind of glad I got a helmet on and a scooter, just blending right in. So yeah, just taking the sights, enjoy it like I am. Except you're lucky you don't have something in your eye like I do. <laughs> yeah, this is Cabo. I think we're gonna gonna come out here and swim either later today or tomorrow my brother knows some people out here I'm gonna pass him my brother knows some folks out here so uh, we were hanging out with them yesterday it's fun talking to uh, talking to people they just are fascinated by Americans so I was talking to these two Dutch girls and they just wanted to know everything about America. I was trying to tell them it's not as great as you think it is. <laughs> where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. I should have gone up there. But yeah, they're fascinated with America. And it's, it's cool. The cultures are just so much different. It's a, it's a great way to live. To get away. By the way, look at me. Shorts. I know I'm skinny. Shorts, t-shirt, no gloves. Should I pull over? Yeah, let's go check out this view real quick, huh? No, I can't. I don't know how to put this kickstand thing up. <laughs> I've been struggling with this kickstand thing. But still, we'll go get a quick little view. <sighs> That's probably the ocean right there, Atlantic. Automatic scooters are weird. I'm so used to clutch work. But this is the town. This is where I'm at. Two-wheel T on an Italian excursion. I'm planning to release a lot of videos out here. So I'm doing this little quick ride and talk about where I've been and what I'm up to. Then I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna go get another scooter. Cause we just got this one scooter between the two of us. So tonight I'm gonna go back to Puerto Azuro. Turn right. I'll go back to Puerto Azuro and get me another. My tongue is very bad, I know. Get me another scooter, and then me and my bro are gonna be whipping. So then from there, I'll probably have another little video. The drive from Puerto Azuro to um, Rio Marina is really nice. It's really cool. It goes up in elevation and then back down, so you get some views all around. Um, so I'll, I'll probably make that into a video. And then we're gonna go up to this rich part of Italy. It's up north, it's called Como. It's really, really rich, really wealthy. So we're gonna rent some nice bikes up there, like some proper Ducatis or Aprilia or something. And then I'm definitely gonna make some videos there, riding up through the Italian Alps, <laughs> which is just gonna be amazing. There's also a place called the Dolomites, Italian Dolomites. Feel free to look it up. Um, I'm gonna try and get out there on some bikes as well. That will just be amazing. There's also a little drive up to uh, this massive five-story mall. It's right outside of Northern Italy, uh, Switzerland. It's like, from where we're gonna be in Como, it's like a 30-minute drive. That's how far north we're gonna be. So I'm probably gonna make that into a video as well. So I got a lot of 
content to shoot. Obviously, I brought all my GoPro stuff. Hopefully, I'm recording. <laughs> yeah, it didn't just mess all that up. I would have probably pulled over and cried, sob, <laughs> and then got back to it. <laughs> So yeah, I digress. We got a whole lot of stuff we're going to do, a whole lot of content. I'm going to get out to y'all so you can enjoy this vacation with me. By the way, the Italian women, oh my goodness. Bellissimo, bellissimo, beautiful. Like everywhere, like true beauty. And they're not just the same regular old birds that like every girl is the same. I'm from Denver, Colorado, and it is brutally annoying because Every girl is the same. It's very, very annoying. Just said. Uh, so yeah, the Italian women are amazing. They're different. They got culture. They're fun. They're friendly. Like, I feel like you can't just have a conversation with a, a woman in America. They always think you got some agenda. Out here, everyone's so friendly. You just talk to them. Nope, nope, I'm going. Oh yeah, I could talk about this place forever. You have to come out here. Everyone thinks America is dope, but then you come out here and you're like, damn, America really sucks. Everybody's greedy, everybody's selfish. People aren't friendly. Everything's expensive. Things here are cheap. Right now the exchange rate is like identical. So like a dollar goes a long way. I came out here once before and the exchange rate was like 1.4. Let me not get lost here. I got to turn right. The exchange rate was oh shit. It was like 1.4. So like one euro was a dollar forty. So you spend you spend a hundred euro and you spend hundred and forty dollars. It adds up quick, you know. Um, but not anymore. Not anymore. It's like a 1.02. I spent 30 euro on groceries, and it came out to. Uh, what you doing? What you doing? I, uh, 30 euro in groceries? And it came out to like $30.79 on my bank statements. It's like identical. So it's, it's amazing. Things are actually cheaper out here right now. I'm really digging it. You, just, you can just pull over and park wherever. Nobody cares. These are tiny little rows. Everybody makes do. We were on a bus ride earlier. That bus driver was whipping up these hills on a massive bus like it's nothing. So yeah, as you can tell, I am thoroughly enjoying myself on this Italian excursion. It's amazing. I highly recommend everybody to leave the country. You don't got to go to Italy, which is just dope and amazing out here. You don't got to go to Italy, but just leave the country. Don't go, go across the pond, you know? Don't just go to Mexico or Canada, go far. Really see a different culture where they don't speak American or English. Yeah, just do it. But that's about it. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying myself out here. Feeling a little Italian for a couple weeks. I'm out here for three weeks, so check this out. We're gonna, we started in Milan just because we flew in there and we're gonna fly out of Milan. So that's kind of the easiest bet. Then we went down to Genoa and stayed there. My, my brother knows people everywhere. And so we went, went down to Genoa, stayed with his friend Stefano. Stefano's dope, he's hilarious. Good English so we could have good conversations. Uh, stayed there for a night. Then the next morning we woke up and drove down to Pisa. We saw uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. That, that thing be leaning. It's like a 30 degree lean. It's not just a little bit. That thing can really lean it. And people can walk all up top to it. It's crazy. I didn't think you'd be able to go up into the building. Somehow it's deemed safe for the public. So yeah, we went to Pisa, which was a lot of fun. Um, from Pisa we took a train. It was a uh, I don't know, an hour long train ride to a little town called Piombino. And from there we took a ferry right out to the island here. Um, so that was like a 45 minute ferry. And then from here, we're here for a few days. I think that was Tuesday. So we're here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, we leave at like 7 a.m. We take the ferry back to Piombino. Then we take another train to Roma. Pass this guy up really quick. 
Then we take a ferry to, or sorry, a train to Rome. We're there for a week. It's gonna be amazing. I am so excited for Rome. Then from Rome, we're gonna go to Florence for a little while. And then I'm gonna try and make a stop in Bologna to see the Ducati factory. I got to, it's in my bones. I've got to do it. I also want to go to like the Aprilia factory in Nuale and all that kind of stuff, but we're going to be right by Bologna. So I really want to see that. Look at that breeze, right? Um, from there, I think I said Florence and then Bologna. Um, I don't know what we're going to do from there. I think we're going to do something in between and then we're going to go up to the rich part, which is Como. Then we'll be in Como for, oh, we might, yeah, shit, we're going to go to Como for a little bit. Sheesh. For like a week or so, we're in Como, something like that. Then we're going to go up to Nice, maybe, which is just right like a hop, skip over, like an hour drive out of Italy to the south of France. Nice is just amazing. I've never been, but I've seen and heard great things. So we're going to be there for a couple days, and then we're going we're gonna to fly on out of here out of Milan to the States which sucks but yeah that's the plan that's where I'm at thank you all for damn it's windy thank you all for riding with me taking the time to click on this video and supporting the channel and if you like this please like if you dislike this which I can't imagine you could possibly dislike this I give it a dislike you know good feedback tell me what to change up you know maybe you don't like this boring drive maybe I should have done all this drive with some good scenery you know who knows oh you're holding people up buddy so yeah also subscribe if you like this kind of stuff it really means a lot to me I plan on doing this YouTube stuff for a while and so every subscription goes a long way once I can get once you get to 500 subscribers you can get access to like community polls and stuff like that so then I can like put up little community polls and do little raffles and I want to make it special for my subscribers because you guys mean a lot to me so it's gonna be a long journey so if you like this kind of stuff please subscribe you know I'll be doing this stuff often. I'm going to try and get back to my two videos a week. And that's about it. Uh, Two-wheel tea. Elba Island. I'm going back to Rio Marino. Rio, Rio Marina. And that's basically it. This video is probably going to start getting long by now. I really hope it hasn't been a 24-minute video. I can't put all this in a video that's too long. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll make a long ad video, boys and girls. But all right, that's it. Um, to Wheel T, thanks for all your support. I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm sorry it won't be as great as mine. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm an asshole. But I love you all. Take care. See you on the next one. Actually, you want to see something funny? Can I make this turn? I'll make this turn. <sighs> okay. It's time to see me struggle. How the hell? Hey, what's up, man? How the hell do you do this? Did I get it? Oh, I almost got it. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Let me just rock it forward. <laughs> Ciao!